Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox Tube video. And today we're doing another what if scenario. So, before we get started guys, I just want to make a quick thanks to everyone as always because we are closing in on 3,700 subscribers now. So we're, we're really getting close to that 4,000 mark. So, wow, just I cannot thank you guys enough. It's absolutely amazing. And remember there will be a 4,000 subscriber live stream, so stay tuned for that. Obviously the quicker you guys sub, <laughs> the quicker we'll get to it, but... Yeah, um, just a huge thanks to everyone who has already subbed and keeps watching the videos. Just a massive, massive thanks to you guys. It is absolutely amazing. But without further ado, let's get into this. So what we are doing today is we are going to see if Earth and Venus could work in a binary orbit. So we're going to head to Earth here and we are going to see if this works. So this was actually um, someone commented this last episode. So thanks to them for their suggestion. And yeah, keep, keep the suggestions coming. Now, I know that you guys do send a lot of um, suggestions in. Um, which is good, but just please know if I don't do your suggestion, please don't hate me. But, but there is so many ideas I get; it's very hard to keep up with um, all of the ideas because there is a very there is a massive amount, and there's only one of me, so it is quite hard to get them all done. I have to say so. Right. Anyway, so let's continue with this. So, Earth and Venus. How are we going to position this? Be quite. This might be quite hard, but we'll do a few scenarios with Venus being closer to Earth or further away from Earth. So let's try it from about here to begin with. So it's about 439,000 kilometers away. So let's put it there. So this is, um, I think it's sort of similar to the distance of the moon. I don't know, we can add the moon in as well, just to see if it would work. So add, add moon, uh, where's, add moon's the planet, there we go. So the moon is there. So they're sort of in the same sort of distance. So let's hit play. Now, does this work? Let's see here, it looks like it does, but Sadly, it looks like Venus has kicked out the moon from the um, Earth's um, Earth's part of space, I guess. So, yeah, poor, the poor moon has been thrown out into space. But on the other hand, Venus and Earth look like they are working quite well right now. Look at this. So it looks like they, these guys do work quite well. Well, to be honest, they are very similar in mass and size. So you'd think it would work. Because obviously if we look at Venus here, if we go to um, Earth, 0.8 Earths of mass, it's only a little smaller in radius as well. So these two are pretty much a perfect match when it comes to binary orbits. Like it's working perfectly, look at this. And that's about the distance of what the moon is from Earth as well, similar to that. So there it is there. Let's um, get a look of um, get a look of Venus from the Earth. So there it is there in the night sky. So let's uh, slow down time. There we go. And then let's go to view, turn trails off. And there you go. So there's Venus in the night sky of Earth. I'll see that it's disappearing there. It'll rise up on this side at some point. Any second now, it should appear. So let's uh, wait for it. Uh, where, where are you at? Come on. There it is. So there's Venus from Earth. So from the surface, it looked like that. So it'd be a lot bigger than the moon, and it'd be a lot brighter as well, because Venus reflects a lot more light than the moon. If we look at Venus's stats here, it reflects 88% of the light it receives, making it the brightest object in the night sky. Even from where its normal position is, Venus is still the brightest object in the night sky. Apart from the moon and the sun, obviously. Um, or even though the sun's not in the night sky. But yeah, apart from the moon, this is the brightest star in the sky. So, pretty cool stuff. But yeah, there is Venus in the night sky. So, yeah, a lot larger than the moon is. But, oh yeah, it looks like it's working perfectly. We'll go on the orbits here, um, like that. And there you go, perfect binary orbit. So, let's um, speed this up, just to see if um, anything happens. But I think this will work fine. So, these guys will binary orbit around the sun like so and then see the moon wherever the moon is the moon is now a planet around the sun as well look at that well i don't know if see i don't know if the moon is large enough to be a planet because the smallest planet ever discovered is bigger than the moon so this would be more of a dwarf planet i'd say but honestly i think it should be a planet like because i think it'd be large enough to be a planet the moon by itself but yeah uh, the class in the planets is weird anyway because obviously they got rid of pluto and all that kind of sucks but yeah, then I'm going to say the moon is a planet here. Because it's orbs in the sun. Like, it's got a clean orbit, pretty much. Like It should be fine. But, yeah, Venus and Earth are in a perfect match right here. So, from the distance... If you put Venus where the moon is, in binary orbit than there, works fine. Like, we're playing, we'll, keep, we'll keep playing it as fast as it will go. So, yeah, it really won't go any quicker. But, there you go. So, it works absolutely fine. Venus and Earth in a binary orbit right here. So, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, this looks absolutely perfect. So let's um, go to a new simulation now. Now let's see what happens if we put Venus a little closer. Let's see if anything else happens, just to get um, a different scenario here. And we'll put it further away as well, see if anything happens there as well. So also, let's also get our custom Venus, because we don't want to use that boring regular one. 
So there we go. We could actually use some of these custom modded Venuses. These haven't actually been revealed yet. I've not shown these. They'll be appearing in season two of Subscribers Universe. But yeah, there's a little sneak peek. So let's put it at only a hundred thousand. So this is three time or, or three times closer than the previous go. So let's put you in, in binary. Okay, so it's a hundred thousand. So that is there. Hundred thousand and ten. So let's see if it works from here. So we'll see. This could actually warm up the planet a bit because tidal heating. So there we go. So let's get a look from Earth. Now look how big Venus is. There it is. Oh, that's looking menacing. The good old Venus. So um, let's have it with this atmosphere. Why not? There you go. That's what it really looks like. I do like Venus with the cloud showing, but without the atmosphere, I have to say. I think it looks quite cool. Let's go background. Let's go on. It's just stars. There you go. It's a real good look of it. So there we go. So if we hit play, we'll, we'll zoom out from Earth first. So we'll go on orbit mode as well. So it looks like it's going to work. And there we go. So it sort of works from here as well. So 100,000 it works. Oh, we've got to try 50,000, even closer. But yeah, there you go. Venus is working absolutely fine. Now, is there any tidal heating? If we look on, um, oh, I don't know which one it's on. Composition, magnetic field, no. Um, it must be on here, right? I don't know, because always the options are all different. Um, tidal effects, here we go. So it is getting some tidal effects. Tidal heating effect, so it is getting it. Earth is getting it as well. The Earth is getting colder. We've got to turn off climate mode. Oh, no, climate mode is off. So if we turn that on, that just makes it look normal. But 12.8. Yeah, the tidal effects aren't even affecting Earth. But that is quite weird. It doesn't even look like Venus is moving right now when in reality it is. But yeah, there's Venus. Oh, I love the clouds on it without the atmosphere. It looks really cool. So yeah, there we go. So it works absolutely fine there. But now let's put Venus to 50,000 kilometers. So... 50,000. Oh, that is really close. Ooh, is that going to work? 22 hours to go around Earth. So one day you'll be seeing Venus every day in the night sky. Um, pretty much. So let's get a look um, on the surface of Earth here and have a look up. Look how big Venus is in the sky now. And that is a lot of trails there. Um, so let's turn all that off. Venus, where are you at, buddy? Oh, look how close that is. That is very close. Wow. That's quite, that, might, that would probably make quite a good thumbnail, actually. Maybe, maybe I'll use something like that for the thumbnail. But Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I knew it. Tidal effects too much for Venus at this point because it's already quite a hot planet, and then when you get tidal effects, it makes it even worse. Now, how's how's Earth doing? Let's turn off climate mode because climate mode always bugs out um, with temperature. So he'll hit play. I'm guessing Earth as well as we can see 60, 70 degrees. It hit 100 degrees there. The water is going to evaporate due to tidal effects. So the closest um, Venus can be to Earth is about 100,000 kilometers away, which is still incredibly close. But obviously, this is only a game, so it's probably not 100% realistic. Because obviously it did say tidal effect, but Earth wasn't even heating up. So I'm pretty sure at 3,000 or 300,000 kilometers, sort of where the moon is, that distance, it will work there. But any closer, it seems like, or for 100,000 and less, it seems like they do like to warm up a lot more. So obviously Earth did heat up a lot there. So let's um, speed it up again. See, oh yeah, and now Earth's completely gone. Oh dear. So yeah, see, if I speed it up, it gets hot. But if I slow the simulation down, it gets cooler again. That's pretty weird. But um, yeah, it looks like it will um, make Earth too hot anyway, because obviously, even when it's slowed down, it still gets stuck about 40 degrees, if we look here. And it's cooling down a bit more, but... Right, so it get cooled a bit. Now, let's try it again. Let's half it again. So, wait, why does it say 1 AU? That's not right. Um, what are we doing here? What do you mean orbital parent is the sun? It should be Earth. What's going on here? Um, orbits. Oh no, Venus is orbiting Earth. They're not, in a, they're not even in a binary orbit. Oh my god, look, they've like disconnected from each other there. So, it looks like they're too close that they can't even do a binary orbit anymore. They're just like wobbling. Their orbits are wobbling now. Look at that. Oh, that is not safe. Alright, so, let's um, try an auto orbit. Maybe, maybe that will help. Is that, that going to do anything? Play? No, it doesn't. Oh my god, play. Oh, Earth is destroying Venus with Roosh Limit. Oh no. So, yeah, any closer and this will happen. But we'll try this again just to see. But yeah, poor Venus and they're gone. They collided. Ah, dear. All right, let's try that again. I do want to try it at 50,000, though. Because obviously we didn't do it that time. We just sort of played around too much. But um, this goes back to Earth. Oh, that was cool, though. So it's pretty interesting to see how close Venus can be to the Earth before it starts to get too hot with tidal effects. So that's quite cool. So 100 or 50,000. Oh, that is so close. So 50,000, 50,000. So that is there. Oh, my gosh. We've got to like 25 after this. So 50,000 is there. They are incredibly close together. That is not good. So, slow down time, of course. So, a few hours, play. 
Yeah, it looks like when they get too close, they don't binary orbit anymore. They just sort of like orbit around the sun, even though they're close. Oh, that is, look at that, it's too close. 500 degrees on Earth just there. Oh, that is close. So you'll see, if we go on trails, when it gets to its closest point to Earth, which is about here, that's sort of its closest point. Here, right here, right about there, that's the closest point. It's obviously Earth heated up more, or Venus heated up more, and obviously Earth. We can't see it right now, but that is definitely going to turn to molten rock. Uh, at some point, there we go. So, yeah, that is pretty crazy. So, 100,000 is the absolute limit, I think, before the orbit starts to get unstable. And they won't even binary orbit. They're too close. But, yeah, Venus is losing material due to the roost limit. Let's uh, speed it up and just see. Is Venus losing mass right now? Yeah, it is. Look, it's being annihilated. Look at the um, radius. It's losing mass and it's getting smaller. Oh, dear. Oh, look, look at that. So, it's quite cool, though. So they are, they are working in the binary orbit. It's just we couldn't survive on Earth with Venus being this close. But yeah, they are working. Like I'd say that's sort of a binary orbit. It's just they're very close. And they're, they're obviously, because they're so large, obviously these planets are quite large. It's not like Pluto and its moon. So these guys will try and destroy each other. So there's that. And obviously these guys are a lot closer than what Pluto and Karen are as well, I think. So yeah. But yeah, wow, that is pretty crazy. But Venus is slow. Is it going to get any smaller? And yeah, they eventually collide, as you can see there. And how is Earth frozen right now? How does that work? I'm guessing the collision bounced Earth further from the sun. Oh, look at all those fragments. Look at that. Oh, all those comets that have just been created pretty much. Oh, my God. They're just going to leave the system, it looks like. They're not even going to come back. But yeah, look at that. So yeah, poor Earth. It's got absolutely annihilated. Look at the crater on that. Look how dark it is. Oh, blacked out. All that black area is the collision zone. So obviously, when water doesn't appear where there's been a collision for some reason, that doesn't look like. So, wow. Poor Earth. It's just been absolutely annihilated. It's literally blacked out on one side now due to that collision. Look at that. Oh, it's like the evil zone. Sort of the dead zone. Wow. But yeah, that is um quite cool there. But now, let's try it at 25,000. This is not going to work, but we'll give it a go just to see. Any closer, we'll know what happens. So... That's Venus. Now we try, need to try Earth. So Earth. There we go. So let's zoom in on here. Venus. There we go. So here's Venus again. So we'll put you at 25,000. So that is about. Oh, they are too close. There. That's not going to work. 25,000 is right there. Yeah. That. That is not good. That's not a good idea. If we look on land on Earth, quick. Disable these. Look round. Yeah. That's a little too close to my like. <laughs> it's right on the horizon there. It's huge. So, play. Oh, so looking at it from a sort of human's perspective, perspective here, um, or perspective. Sorry. So, oh, that looks menacing. Look how close it is. It looks like um, Io almost now, like the volcanic-looking surface. Because Venus and Io, sort of similar, I guess. But um, yeah, there we are. Oh, that is menacing. Look at that Venus. Oh dear. Put that on the horizon. Oh, that is definitely menacing. So it's going to rise up over here somewhere. There it is. You can see it glowing. So it, this would probably make a lot of light on Earth, actually, since it's all that glow coming off Venus, all that temperature. That will probably light up Earth a bit. Well, that is blocking out the sun. We're going to get an eclipse here. Look at that. There we go. It's eclipse. That's an eclipse right there. Blocking out the sun completely. So in theory, there should be a shadow on Earth. Let's look on our realistic mode. No shadow? Are you kidding? Well, I guess, I guess it makes sense since there is reflecting light back onto Earth, but it looks like the sunlight is on it. That's pretty weird. That should be an eclipse. Oh, come on, game, really? Where well, have we, um, do I have an option? Do I need to switch something on? Graphics. No, glow, or shadows. Shadows is on, so it should be appearing. That's weird. Oh, well. But yeah, there should be a massive eclipse there, but yeah, there you go. So, yeah, Earth is warming up in temperature as well, but this is not going to last long. Oh, Venus is very, very hot now. Look at that. 3,000 degrees. That's as hot as um, some stars. It's hitting 5,000. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. Yeah, that that definitely will not work. And it's way too close. I'm surprised Bruce did it. Oh, oh, and there you go. It just vaporized. Well, it just blew up. But yeah, there you go. So now let's see how far away Earth, or how, how far away Venus can be from Earth. So we started off at 300,000. So let's try 600,000 um, kilometers away. So here's Earth. So Venus, yeah, we're on binary. So 600,000 is here. So let's go closer so 600,000 is about there so it's got on a realistic I really I need to update this custom system um, custom service system it will be getting an update soon 
So yeah, stay tuned, because I have a ton of videos planned for when I go on holiday. So I'll be pre-recording, bringing back some old series as well. A lot of people have asked for some older series to return, so they will be coming back. So, right, play. So is this going to work? Oh, it does! So at 600,000 it still works, binary orbit, there you go. So I won't play it for too long, because we know it works. So, right. So, now, let's try doubling it. Let's go to 1.2 million. So, oh no, 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 I need to put an extra two in there. Like that. Okay, play. Is that going to work? Ooh, the sun's getting all fair, because obviously the sun, the sun is probably trying to um, take over and try and pull the objects away from each other. There, there you go. So, at 1.2 million kilometers, the sun is too superior. The sun's gravity attracts Venus away from the Earth. Their binary orbit isn't strong enough. Further out in the solar system, it'll probably work since the sun's gravity is not as strong out here. But since we're only in the solar system here, the sun is a lot. The sun's gravity pull is a lot stronger, so it pull them away and they can't orbit each other because they're too far away. But it did work for a bit. But yeah, it's too far away from the Earth um, now. So I'm guessing at about um, 800,000 plus, it will probably start to do that. But that's just an estimate. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that is what if um, Venus was in a binary orbit of Earth with a couple of scenarios about being too close or too far away. So hopefully you enjoyed it and make sure you did hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers. Let's also see if we can try and go for 50 likes, maybe something like that. Um, let's set a like goal. Why not? So let's see if we can get 50 likes. And yeah, that is it. So if you've got any ideas for um, future videos, please let me know down below or in my Discord. But also, please keep in mind, I can't do your ideas as soon as you request them. You may have to wait a while because there's just so many ideas. It's very hard to keep up with everything you guys post. It is way too much for one, guys. So yeah, please um, don't get angry if I don't do your idea or I miss it because it is very hard to keep up with them. So yeah, that is that. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, guys. So like I said, hopefully you enjoy it. And yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.